Welcome back to Let's Do Coffee from the beautiful Nielsen Park Cafe and Restaurant. With food and coffee this good, this show is your weekly fix of latte life. But never let it be said we discriminate against those that love the cafe experience but don't drink coffee. In fact, I went to meet someone who's turned that problem into a multi-award winning business. Melissa Edivin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tony. Now, you're the creator of Bondi Chai, so what is it? Chai is a tea-based drink, so it's drunk like a latte, and there's a lot of confusion, even with cafe owners, that chai isn't coffee. Chai is actually a tea-based drink. So what is the taste of chai? Bondi Chai is based on chai masala, which yeah. is a blend of black tea and then spices. So right. you, know, you pick the spices, it's up to you, your recipe, and it, normally it contains um, cinnamon, clove, ginger, a bit of honey to sweeten it. And this idea came about because you don't drink coffee, right? Well, we found chai when we were holidaying in the States. We went to New York for the millennium, we were travelling around, and we walked into a cafe that didn't smell like coffee. It smelled different. And when we asked the guy on the counter, he said it was chai. So we grabbed a pack and brought it home, and we loved it. And at the time, you couldn't get chai in Australia. So we decided we'd do it ourselves. So now you're making your own chai. I think the cafe scene that we have here, everyone's drinking milk drinks. So we wanted a drink that was a milk drink. So we developed a recipe that was all natural flavours and you made it with hot milk. Mm, well, speaking of, should we have a taste? Yeah, sure. Now, there's two flavours, right? Yeah, so, so. We, we decided we needed two flavours. We went for a vanilla honey flavour, sort of softer, sweeter, more hot chocolatey. So for people who weren't really sure, they didn't like strong coffee, but they didn't like you know, lots of spices. Mm. We call it our entry chai. Which one's the vanilla one? So I think I've got the vanilla. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Can I have a little taste? Yeah. Okay. Mmm, that's nice and yeah. sweet. So yeah. it's just soft. So if you're a chai drinker, you're going to think, brings out the sort of original flavours of the chai. So we've got more cinnamon, we've got a bit of star anise in there. Yeah. So it's just a bit more spicy. So how do we make it at home? Well, there's lots of different ways you can make it. Obviously, if you're trying to create your cafe-style drink, if you've got a, a milk frother or a cafe machine at home, yeah. you just get your powder, put it in your milk, steam it up, mm -hmm. or pop it in the milk frother. If you're sort of simple, quick and easy, you want to do it at work, you've only got a microwave, put the powder in the milk, stir it up, chuck it in the microwave. It's, it's really easy. easy. <laughs> On the stove, it really doesn't matter, you just yeah. need hot milk. So what's next for Bondi Chai? Well, there's lots of projects and we, you know, we, we love our product as a drink, but we have you know, chefs writing to us all the time with wonderful ideas for food and creme brulee and custards. So we're just talking with different people about where else chai might go and, and yeah. you might see Bondi chai coming up in other things. Thanks for that, Melissa. And Bondi Chai celebrates its 10th birthday in July and Melissa tells me there'll be lots of giveaways and competitions. So keep an eye on their website and their Facebook page for more details.